Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the CSTV. I'm your host, Kathleen Egaldoto, Madam CS, the host with Indonesia, and this is the striker. Stay tuned and have it all and thrill. The striker today takes us to our safety in online taxis. You know, it has become a norm across most parts of the world that. Um, uh, fiscal taxis like where you just to go onto the street and find a car written taxi and then you, you negotiate the price um, is becoming unpopular and as a result of that people actually are opting to ordering or picking taxis online where with companies like uber in kenya we have polt we have taxify little cups among others while this technology has come with a lot of conveniency and it is a main advantages, we have also had cases whereby people um, are attacked by the drivers they picked uh, from um, these uh, online transport companies. You order an Uber, you order Bolt, you order Taxify, but eventually you end up having a very horrible experience in terms of your safety from the same same drivers who actually you thought could be the safest people to all the the trusted people to make you reach home now around two weeks ago two ladies picks picked a taxi um uh, with bolts uh from westland and uh they were kidnapped and it took um, a lot of police effort and the parents' um, negotiation and intervention for these ladies to be found somewhere in Gadekoyo, uh, Thika. And these people who kidnapped them were actually asking for a ransom of one million. Now we need to ask ourselves, at what particular time actually am I safe or what are some of the safety issues or what are some of the issues that actually can uh, predispose you to um, such attacks and such uh, horrible security experiences when it comes to these online taxis you know we live in a country where sometimes uh, um, you ask for something and then the person who is supposed to supply that brings in another thing and tells you this one is better uh, responding to the, you know, to this kidnap case, the Bolt company came out and said that the number plate that was on the vehicle that the ladies actually um, ordered online was not the same number plate that picked them. And this is not the first time this could be maybe a thing or um, a, a, an occurrence in the country. We have had cases where somebody said, I ordered a tax online, and then the number plate, the, the vehicle that was shown on the app, is not the vehicle that picked me. Then we have also had cases whereby somebody says, I picked my, I ordered a tax online. I was almost being picked by another vehicle, only for the driver that I ordered online to call me and tell me is there. So that's how I saved my life. It tells you one thing. Once you pick a taxi online, it doesn't matter how trustworthy that company has been reviewed. If you pick a taxi online, ensure that the same taxi is the one that comes to pick you. Because then it, be, it, it becomes difficult to make even a follow-up on who picked you when you maybe you were picked by a KBL, you, you ordered a KPL and then you are picked by a KBG. So ask yourself, why is this person changing the vehicle? Or is it truly the same person that you have been talking with? We live an, in an era whereby people are hacking our phones and, and having access to, to what we are doing even without our knowledge. And these tax, uh, tax uh, online apps are not an exception. So ask yourself, 
if you ordered this vehicle and a different one came, why did this driver actually decide to come with a different one? That should be your first red alert. Always ensure that the vehicle you order online is the vehicle that comes. And number two, it has to do with, uh, I think most of you have seen this or have experienced this. You order a taxi, yes, the same, the person comes and then he tells you, oh, you know where we are going, that place is far. Uh, instead of me um, putting the taxi up on, uh, let me put the app off, we negotiate, you give me this money, you know, you pay a lower price, I put the money in my pocket. Especially those uh, taxi drivers who are not driving their own cars, like they have been hired. So uh, it happened to me, uh, I think it was in 2019. Uh, we were supposed to go somewhere with a group of my friends. And we hired this taxi man, he came. He was supposed to drop us. I think it was supposed to be in Nanyuki. We are going for an outreach. And the guy said, like, you know, uh, Nanyuki so far. Uh, let me put off the app such that you pay me the money. We negotiate you pay me, I don't know, 500 or 600. You know, he put some amount that was uh, somehow lower than the amount we could have paid using the taxi. But we insisted that the taxi... Um, we, the tax app has to be on. We are comfortable with paying that particular amount. But uh, it, it, is, it, is, it is very common for somebody to tell you that they put the taxi app off such that nobody, that map, nobody sees how the vehicle is moving and then you pay something less uh, that it's a win-win deal for both of you. That is a second alert. Because if you are going to put off the taxi app, nobody can be able to trace where exactly you are. So it is important that if you have ordered a taxi, if the person is not ready to drive with the map on, just say no to that taxi. Yeah, say no. Say no and order a different one. Or even take that money you could have used for a taxi and take an hotel somewhere and sleep until the following day. And when I'm saying this, we have a lot of con people who have entered the taxi system also. Not everybody's there to do the taxi business. Some are there because they know it is easy to get people there, kidnap them, and get the money easily from the ransoms that they actually ask. The ritualists are there to kidnap also people and use them for their own rituals. So it is very important that you don't uh, fall prey of eat and cheap um, pagaining. Somebody tells you, uh, you know, you will pay less. We have also had these cases. You order a taxi and somebody comes and tells you, you know, you have to pay the money to and the money from. That that place is very far. If you find you have started having... Um, a confrontation with the taxi person who is actually um, uh, skyrocketing the price or inflating the price than the price that is indicated in the in the online system that's another red alert don't board that taxi because this person can even reach in the middle of nowhere and tells you bring me the money give me the money or else i drop you here and at that particular time you will have very little to do so it is important that what you negotiate or what you are offered online is exactly what actually you are offered or what comes at the time of delivery. And that those are the terms and conditions that you follow throughout the journey. Don't pick a different taxi than what you've seen online. Don't accept for the map to be put off. And don't accept for somebody to tell you that you can negotiate and pay cheap, that it's a win-win deal for you all. Another thing, uh, while some conditions may be fairly difficult, you may find yourself alone. Maybe you have traveled from up country and you find yourself in town, it's late and there's no matatu and you're supposed to go to, to your house. 
it's always advisable that these taxis, in as much as we like them, at least take these taxis when you are not totally alone. And also don't accept a taxi whereby a driver comes with a co-driver. You find it, this is a taxi, but a driver has come with a co-driver. It is not indicating that this taxi is supposed to come with a co-driver. So why should somebody come with a co-driver and you are only one passenger? So it's also very important that you, you, you pay attention to small, small things that actually can put you in danger. A taxi driver coming with a co-driver is also not a, si a good sign, especially on the, on the side of the passenger. Another thing, look at even how the language the driver uses. Um, I'm talking about not the, the ethnic language, no. I'm talking about his attitude of and approach, the way he talks, etc. It can be able to tell you whether actually you are trading on the security, on your safety well or not. And finally, once you take a taxi, please... It's good that you call somebody. In fact, call somebody when that driver is listening. I've taken this taxi, car number this and this. I'm just living here and I'm expected to reach at this particular place at this particular time. So it, 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 it makes somebody know, even if he was planning somebody, something bad, it makes somebody know that actually already the vehicle number has been known and where he has picked it, like it can be traced. So sometimes we take taxi, we enter the taxi, and then we are like, I'm, I'm running late, we have to go. And you don't even let anybody, and it's very nice, know that actually you have taken this taxi, etc. So what I've told you may not guarantee you 100% safety, but it can give you up to 99% of your safety as a traveler using online taxi services. So please, make sure, sure that if you are a drunk, you have gone to a party, you are a drunk, don't take a taxi alone. Make sure, sure you are a two, three people in that particular car and somebody, there's somebody sober there. Make sure, sure that you have alerted people, you have taken this taxi from this point to this point. Don't negotiate anything that let any offer that the driver gives you. Stick to what you have seen in the system. Otherwise, safety begins with you. And I also believe that the government has a lot to do in terms of scrutinizing the companies that have come in terms of online taxis and check their safety measures in terms of safeguarding customers from a loggy drivers and people are taking advantage of the industry to get um kidnap victims ritual people uh people to use for rituals etc see you next time as we discuss about the pump blast in uganda and stay tuned and keep it raw and real